rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Bless now, bless now, people. Don't forget the rest now. Des rock steady at King of the Pit TV signing in live and large. Yeah, don't hate me on this one. I've never really delved into the Stooges. I've heard a couple of their hits. And that's about it. My man Iggy on the mic. I'm looking forward to this one. There is a 10 minute song on this record, which I'm absolutely disgusted by. I'm not looking forward to it, but it might be really good. You never know. It might be an epic. But we're starting off at the debut LP, the self-titled. Only eight tracks on this record, so should be a nice, easy listen. Um, I've got to get moving in due time, so... You know, it helps me out to only have eight tunes to listen to. First time listening to it. And I'm just going to leave it at that, to be honest. I'm aware of the second track, I Want to Be Your Dog. Uh, it's a banger, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only tune I'm aware of on this record. So, we're going to start off with Dirty 60 Died. Um, I might break off for a cuppa in due time. But without further ado, you know who it is, and you know where we're going. Shout out to all of you uh, stooge heads out there. Let's go. This is the remaster, by the way. 2019 remastered record. All right. Well, it's 1969, okay. Walk across the USA. Well, it's another year for me and you. Another year with nothing to do well, It's another year for me and you Another year with nothing to do Now last year I was 21 I didn't have a lot of fun And now I'm gonna be 22 I say oh my and a, a boo hoo. Yeah, now I'm gonna. Stooges are American, right? It sounds a bit like Jagger, or from what I'm aware of, uh, Jagger sound like. We've got no comments on here. This is early. This is early. I mean, it's called 1969. The record was put out in 69. Rhino Entertainment Company. We've got drums, Dave Alexander, vocals, Iggy Stooge. The unknown, well, unknown bits and bobs, and the producer, John Cale, guitar, Ron Asherton. Drum Scott Asherton, writer Dave Alexander, writer James Osterberg Jr., writer Ron Asherton, and writer Scott Asherton. Oh, so, I wonder if there's going to be any development from here, because from what I've heard of the Stooges, they tend to riff on the same idea over and over. Uh, they don't necessarily, well, I've not really heard them structure a song through too many dynamic changes, but let's find out. Very quirky uh, lyrical content. Well, it's 1969, okay. Little modulation on the guitars there. Well, across the USA. It's another year for me and you. Another year with nothing to do. Well, it's Taking that base for a walk there. Well, 
Lead guitars just wobbling along there, wobble, wobble. I actually reckon this might have been better as the last track and you'd be able to fade this out quite nicely. I wonder if this is going to have a fade out. Oh, there's that fade out. I thought so. I thought so. It was an interesting introduction to the record. It wasn't bad. I mean, it really sold you the charisma of my man Iggy. Quite a calm character with potential for a little bit more as he sort of showcased there at the end. And without further ado, we're going to move on to uh, I Want to Be a Dog. Uh, I'm wondering if, generally speaking, we're going to have more of a mid-paced experience from song to song to song. I'm very interested in We Will Fall sitting at 10 minutes, because relative to that, we're looking at near about 3 minutes average of these tunes. So let's keep it moving. We've got I Want to Be Your Dog. And yo, if you want me to check out more Stooges, it's early days where I'm just getting into the record. But let me know because, you know what I mean? It's it's actually a journey I wouldn't mind going on. It's a journey I wouldn't mind, as of so far at least. I Want to Be Your Dog coming up next. All right, track number two. <laughs> <laughs> 